Hi friends, in this video we're going to talk about the difference between species richness and species evenness in environmental biology. First, let's review what um, biodiversity is because this, uh, these two terms play a role directly into biodiversity. Biodiversity refers to the variety and variability of life forms within a given ecosystem biome or for the entire earth. It's cr critical for ecosystem resilience, human welfare, and ecological services. Okay, so that's biodiversity. <clears throat> so what is species richness? Species richness is the total number of different species present in an ecosystem. It is a simple count of species and does not account for abundance of species. So you're just simply counting the different types of species or the different species and that's it. Example of species richness would be consider comparing the species richness of it in a tropical rainforest versus a temperate forest. Um, the temp Tropical rainforest typically exhibits higher species richness due to its diverse habitat. There is a heck of a lot of different species in a tropical rainforest, probably because of its uh, the amount of water available to it. Whereas in a temperate rainforest, like in the eastern United States, not quite as much water, fewer species as a result it has less species richness. Species evenness. Species evenness measures the relative abundance of each species that are represented in an area. It accounts for how evenly the individuals are distributed among species. So for example, you could go outside and count how many people are outside, how many dogs are outside, how many uh, various bird species are outside, um, and how many of each one of those species. So we're comparing the number of each one of those species to each other. And that is species evenness. An example would be Imagine two ecosystems where the same species, um, the same species richness, but different evenness. Okay, so they have the same number of species, but the relative abundance of each of those species is not the same. One shows a balanced distribution of species um, among species, high evenness, while the other shows a skewed distribution. So you could have one species with just like one individual of a species and another species with a um, hundred of them and that would not be even, right? So, so that is not an example, that would be low evenness. If they both had 50 of both of those species, 50 individuals of both of those species, that would be high evenness. Both species richness and evenness are important to understanding biodiversity. They highlight different aspects of an ecosystem's composition. Another real world example is the coral reefs. They have high species richness with thousands of different species. Factors like pollution, overfishing can affect species evenness leading to a dominant dominance of just a few species. Here's another one in the grasslands. Um, grasslands have a variety of plants and animals. Um, sustainable grazing practices can uh, maintain species evenness by preventing any one dominant species from becoming too dominant. So why do we want to measure both the number of species and how evenly those species are diver, uh, dispersed? 
While measuring both species richness and evenness provides a more complete understanding of biodiversity and ecosystem health. These concepts inform conservation strategies. Obviously, if you have a species that isn't very even with the other species, then you might put more effort into trying to help that species out than, than um, the one that's doing better. Species richness and evenness are fundamental concepts in environmental biology, each highlighting different aspects of biodiversity, importance, and conservation.